Flies eat poop. Get over it. Okay? That's for you. Great fires of London! Okay, let's get busy! Today I'm going to be sharing some more of Tracy's top toys with you and firstly we have a Fireman Sam driving game. Here we go! It's so cool! Also I have this amazing driving game. Be sure to check this one out with me. Okay, let's turn it on and here we go. Oh wow, it's so much fun. And just look at all the Fireman Sam characters along the way. I'm trying to keep Jupiter on the road. What happens when we press this button? Oh wow, it's the sound of the siren. That's so cool. What happens when we pull this lever? Oh wow, it stops Jupiter and makes a swerving sound. Off we go again. Okay, there is Fireman Sam, Naughty Norman Price, there's Radar, Trevor Evans and Lion. Did you see Lion guys? And also, there's Tom Thomas. It's so cool. Can you spot your favourites? And here are some of the favourite characters from Fireman Sam. Let me know in the comments which is your favourite. My favourite, I think, is Norman. One more question. Who is under a tree? Who is under a tree? Let's take a look. Is it Naughty Norman? No. Is it Mike Flood? No. Ah, I think it might be Station Officer Steel. Oh no, it's Penny Morris. Let's press the Penny button. Then guys, that's been the fantastic Fireman Sam driving game. Let's check out another driving game. Okay, let's check out driving game number two. It's so cool!
love all the cool features on this toy. Boys and girls, time for another fantastic Fireman Sam adventure. Hello. Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. Well, today you join us, Fireman Sam, with his dog radar and Peppa Pig are getting some sodas in the shop. It's a hot day and they're thirsty. When all of a sudden, a master alarm was sounded. <laughs> Great fires of London, said Fireman Sam. That's the main alarm. It's an emergency. Back to Jupiter, quick! Oh, Sam and Peppa Pig ran outside and they just could not believe what they saw. Almost every building was on fire in Ponty Pandy. Quick, I've got to get to Jupiter. Peppa Pig ran off to get her fire engine to help. Every building in Ponty Pandy was alight. This is what became known as the Great Fire of Ponty Pandy. A fire that everybody talks about. But while Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig went to get their fire engines, the fire continued to burn and poor Rubble was so scared. Oh, this is so bad, said Rubble. Every building is alight. I just can't believe it. All of this was started by just one firework. But in the distance, we could hear the fire engines. They're coming to the rescue of the folk of Ponty Pandy. Thank goodness. Come on then, let's go. Here comes Fireman Sam now. Peppa Pig wasn't far behind with her special fire engine. Here comes Nurse Flood, followed by Station Officer Steel on Bessie. We need every emergency vehicle for a fire of this size. Here's Elvis and Tom Thomas now with Venus. All the vehicles are being positioned, ready to put out all of the fires. My goodness, no one has ever seen anything like this great fire of Ponty Pandy. Sam gets the hose out of Jupiter and makes a start on the first building. First Sam checks if anyone's in the building, but luckily everyone's got out safely. It's just a question of getting those fires out. Good, that's the first flame was dealt with. That's the second window with the fire put out. Now just for the last one. Excellent, says Sam. That first building's dealt with. Let's see how Pepper's getting on with Mike's garage. Pepper 
Pepper and Rubble get out the fire extinguisher so they can work on the next fire. And as quick as a flash, the first fire is out in the tower. And then Wright's garage is saved and that fire is also out. Now on to the next fire. Here, with the help of Bessie, Station Officer Steele is dealing with the next fire. Thank goodness, he says, as that fire is extinguished as well. Bessie may be old, but she's still brilliant. With no men injured and no casualties, moves the ambulance out of the way so Fireman Sam can deal with the shot fire. Sam jumps out, ready to deal with this next emergency. And soon he has the first of the fires out in the shop. Now it's just the next fire to deal with. This fire is a bit more stubborn, it just doesn't seem to want to go out. But Fireman Sam battles on. Finally, that fire's out as well. Well done, Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam runs over to help Elvis and Tom Thomas, who are still trying to put out the final fire, actually in the fire station. Leave this to me, said Fireman Sam. And very soon he's in the thick of it, trying to put out the last fire. <gasps> and he does. Well done Fireman Sam, well done Elvis, and well done Tom Thomas. Everyone's helped out here from Rubble, Pepper Pig, Nurse Flood and Station Officer Steel. This has been a true team effort and it just shows what you can do when everybody pulls together and works together in such an emergency. The Great Fire of Pontypandy has been extinguished and no one's been hurt. That's great news. Well, hello there, residents of Pontypandy, said Station Officer Steele. Welcome to the annual show around. This is the time when we get to show you around all the important work that we do here. So if you've got any questions, just ask me. And be careful and remember to wear your safety hats. Well done, folks. Make sure you keep those hats on throughout this tour. First, let's have a look at the safety equipment that we store up these stairs. Follow me. Now, if you follow where my hand is pointing, said Station Officer Steele, you will see that there is fire extinguishers, a bucket, a tool, some other hammers and some cones, all very important parts of fire rescue missions, as you can understand. During the speech, Naughty Norman looked curious and very, very, very naughty. Dillis leaned over and said, Now remember, Norman, there's no touching today. I don't want any of your funny business, OK? Now, commencing the next part of the tour, behind you to your left, you'll see this is where the firefighters store their very important uniforms and their hats. We've also got a picture of our lovely staff there, featuring myself, a fireman Sam, and Elvis, of course. And then to my right, we've got a map here. This shows all the important locations. Let me just show you how Juno launches off and how we signal the master alarm. Follow me. Now, signalling the master arm is very important because this tells all the firefighters that they have to come at once because there's an actual fire to respond to. Let me show you how it works. And this lovely looking jet ski here is called Juno. Juno is used when we need to rescue someone quickly out at sea and it's operated by one single firefighter. You'll see there's one seat there and a steering wheel. Now to release Juno, all we have to do is this. We loosen her up here, like this, and then Juno is actually able just to launch off like this. Now if you'd all like to follow me, I'll show you where the helipad is. Come on folks! Once all of the other people had followed Station Officer Steel to the helipad, 
naughty Norman felt very naughty. <laughs> now I know how to work, Juno. Maybe I can use Juno. And he hopped straight on. That's the master alarm. It looks like Naughty Norman's been very naughty. You can slow down. Just try and press the brake. Come on, you can do it. Press the brake. Brake! Fireman Sam launched a rubber ring round his neck for his safety. Come on, Norman, jump on board. Now, Norman, I think we're going to have to have another little chat about your safety at sea, aren't we? Yeah, sorry, Fireman Sam. Hmm. OK, boys and girls, let's have another Fireman Sam adventure. Here we go! I'd had a busy day riding around on Mercury, and here it comes now. Oh, hi Fireman Sam, how are you today? I'm very well, says Fireman Sam. I'm just going to park up Mercury because I'm going to take a look at the very special fire engine that's come all the way from America. And I think my very good friends Peppa Pig and her little brother George are going to come and see the fire engine too. So it's all busy busy here. So Jupiter was parked in the fire station garage and also Fireman Sam parked Mercury just to the side. So Fireman Sam and Station Officer Steele were all ready and waiting in their best firefighting uniform ready and waiting for the American fire truck to arrive. And hey, what's that they can hear now? It's the amazing American fire truck. We have an anchor carrying a 21st prophet. Fire truck is on the way. Wow, it's so cool, says Fireman Sam. I can't wait to test out all the equipment. Peppa Pig and Little George were a little bit late. They'd been having trouble with their fire engine. It had been coughing and spluttering, but here they come now. And out they hopped. Peppa Pig was telling Fireman Sam why they were late. There's something wrong with the engine, Fireman Sam. And with that, there was a loud explosion. Oh no, says Peppa Pig. My lovely fire engine is on fire. And little George burst into tears. Oh dear, right here, come on you two. We've got to get you out of harm's way, says Station Officer Still. Now then, you two, says Station Officer Still. You stand over here and myself and Fireman Sam will put the flames out. Don't you worry, but you stay here. You stay where it's nice and safe. OK, Fireman Sam, said Pepper Pig and George. We'll be good. We'll stay here. Fireman Sam had his super duper foaming fire extinguisher. But just in case, Station Officer Still also had a backup fire extinguisher. And Fireman Sam got to work. He's so cool, that Fireman Sam. And before you knew it, the flames were starting to die down. That's jolly good show, says Station Officer Still to Fireman Sam. Flames are nearly out. Well done, Fireman Sam, says Station Officer Still. I didn't even need to use my backup fire extinguisher. That was so good. Well, it's all in a day's work, says Fireman Sam. Peppa Pig and her little brother George came running over to thank Fireman Sam. Oh, our lovely fire engine has been saved. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Well, thank you for being so good, Peppa Pig and George. And thank you for standing well back. And for being so good, I'll give you a guided tour of our special visiting fire engine 
all the way from America. Oh wow, that's super cool, says George. And Peppa Pig says, if there's ever any real emergency, be sure to stand out of harm's the way. school holidays and Naughty Norman has been bored for the last week. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Mm. Now then, Norman, says Dillis Price. Farmer Giles and his wife, Mrs Giles, have offered for you to go to their farm. You can help feed the pigs, chickens, and they've even got sheep. I love animals, says Norman. Can I go today? Well, Farmer Giles did say that you could go at any time. But I don't know how to get you there. I've got a big stock delivery today that I need to sort out so I can't leave the shop. And with that, Tom Thomas comes in to buy a pint of milk. What seems to be the problem, Dillis, says Tom. Well, Norman wants to go to Farmer Giles's farm, but I can't get him there. Well, that's no problem, Dillis. I can take him in Wallaby One. I need to take Wallaby One out for a spin and it'll be my pleasure to drop him off at the farm. That's awesome, says Norman. And in no time at all, they were flying high above Ponty Pandy. Tom Thomas landed Wallaby One next to Farmer Giles's barn in what seemed to be no time at all. Meanwhile, Mrs Giles had been milking the cow Daisy and Farmer Giles was feeding the pigs. They couldn't wait to get to the pig trough. It was such a hot day on Farmer Giles's farm and Farmer Giles was worried about the animals getting enough water. But he shouldn't have been worrying about the animals. He should have been worrying about his barn. The sun's rays were so hot coming through the window of the barn and oh my goodness me, it started a fire. The barn was soon alight because it was full of hay. It turned into a huge fire. Farmer Giles said to his wife, we need to call for Fireman Sam. This is serious. Luckily, Tom Thomas saw what had happened and called for Fireman Sam immediately. Here comes Fireman Sam now, says Farmer Giles. Mrs. Giles managed to get the animals to safety, but she was a little bit worried about Daisy. In no time at all, Fireman Sam put the flames out. Well done, Fireman Sam. Farmer Giles said, we need to get Daisy to the animal rescue centre. I think she's breathed in too much smoke. Here comes the animal rescue vehicle now. Fireman Sam, Tom Thomas and even Naughty Norman helped load Daisy into the back of the trailer. And off she went to the animal rescue centre. They soon arrived with Daisy. Daisy just needed plenty of rest and plenty of fresh air and she was as right as rain in no time. So the animal rescue vehicle took Daisy back to Farmer and Mrs. Giles's farm. And Tom Thomas brought home Naughty Norman in Wallaby One. Oh ma'am, I've had the best day ever. Have you Norman, says Dillis Price. I've been in Wallaby One with Tom Thomas. Farmer Giles's barn called to light and Fireman Sam put out the flames. Also, Daisy the cow wasn't very well, so I helped take her to the animal hospital. 
After all that then, Norman, you must be hungry. Come on inside. I've got some Welsh cakes and some milk. Goodbye.